What is up guys, in today's video we have a brand new update in Fortnite I'm going to be going over all the changes that we got today As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, find it helpful or informative Remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more And comment down below what you think of this update So the first thing we got is the Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2099 skins added to the game You can purchase them now in the item shop We got an early shop refresh this morning So if you are interested in these skins, you can get them And if you would like to use my code, it is EvolveJake We also got the Web Slingers back in the game If you guys didn't play in chapter 3 season 1 but you played later on in chapter 3 uh these the grapple glove is very similar to the web slinger like the grapple glove was a toned down version of the web slingers and it was made more generic that way it's not a collab but the web slingers are back uh, think of it like a grapple glove that has 80 uses and then i believe with the web slingers you can also shoot prior to landing so you could grapple up pull out your gun and then shoot down at people this is really good for pushing people and that is one of the main weaknesses the grapple glove had compared to the web slinger is that you needed to land before you could shoot after using the grapple glove but from everything i've seen the web slingers function exactly as they did in chapter 3 season 1 so they have 80 uses you can shoot before you land and then also uh, you should take fall damage if you get shot out, similar to how the grapple glove was. You can find this as floor loot, and you can purchase it from Spider Gwen. I believe she's in Slappy Shores. Unfortunately, they didn't add back the spider backpacks. When we had the, the web slingers in Chapter 3 Season 1, there was a bunch of backpacks around the map where you could go to and get it, similar to what we have with like the katana racks now, or the attack on titan crates getting the odium gear. It was just like a guaranteed spawn to get it, and I was kind of hoping they would do that again for the web slingers, since getting mobility is so important this season. If you land in an area that doesn't have katana spawns or doesn't have attack on titan crates it's gonna be very hard for you to like be able to participate in that match unless you get lucky and find mobility and in like this is very much like true in team game modes like if you land at an area that doesn't have guaranteed spawns and you need four katanas like it's hard to come by so you can get it as ground loot you can get it from spider gwen this is mobility at slappy shores which is nice but i would have liked to see the backpacks return to some of the like the maybe the snowy areas just more guaranteed mobility on the map i think is nice because you don't feel like you have to land in like a set place to be able to play the game another thing in this update is that the star wars items were removed so the lightsabers are no longer in the game the blasters are no longer in the game the stormtrooper npcs that were just kind of camped out at certain sections of the map those have been removed and then also the star wars challenges are now over so if you didn't complete the challenges or didn't get darth maul or the clone trooper you will not be able to get it um there are still some star wars skins in the item shop but like the ones you had to do the challenges for you can no longer do so if you missed out on that you missed out on it as a temporary event but i'm sure many players will be happy to hear that the lightsabers are gone because it has probably been the number one thing people have been complaining about in my comment section ever since the star wars collab started so those are the main changes for this update not a ridiculous amount of changes but it's still very nice to see as far as like a late season update goes typically like this late into the season we don't really get that much new content uh, like it's, it'll be like wild weeks where like gold purchases cost less or like fire wild week where there's more fire. They made like an evil chickens wild week. They usually do like some kind of trolley updates towards the end of the season that don't really change the game too much, but also don't really make it that refreshing and fun. But getting the web slingers this late in the season, I think was a very good change. It's, it's going to be a very solid mobility item and it's definitely going to be nice in those situations where you aren't able to get a katana and i think that another nice thing about this update is it's like this is very easily something they could have saved for next season you know like this would have been a huge thing to have into the game in chapter four season three it would have been great to advertise alongside it but they they just threw it in the game now so we got it for like the end of this season there's like two weeks left and then who knows what we're gonna get in chapter four season three but i would assume if we're getting like this large of content drops we just got ranked last week now we got the spider-man web slingers this week i assume since they're not saving this content for next season that there's a lot of stuff they have planned next season and it's going to be super exciting to see but that is going to be it for this video just a small update but the web slingers are a big change and I'm sure many of you will be happy to see the Star Wars items removed. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe. I'm going to let some gameplay play out from a recent game I got on stream. I stream every day on Twitch, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Collab items. In-game. But I don't think as far as, like, cosmetics go. Or just, like, X amount of collabs in a season. But it's, like, not every collab gets items, you know? 
And this season definitely has had a lot of uh, like collab items for sure. And I think that tends to be the thing most people like dislike most about the collabs. So there's got to be someone around here because all that loot from that fight that just occurred. Like this is the most annoying thing about the lightsabers probably. The fact that that guy can just waste my time is unfortunate. And like... It's not as much so unfortunate because he's gonna kill me, but just like other people are because he's just wasting my time. Like because I'm shooting at him for much longer than I otherwise would be, I get like sniped or you know? was so good on him bro my my brain tries so much harder to shoot people if it sees them holding a heavy sniper it's like a like primal instinct or whatever i know i'm in danger I don't know how that Darth Vader didn't kill that Gwen either. I had her so fucking weak. This zone is horrid. Like, this is actually so bad. Is this why that guy wouldn't shoot that Gwen earlier? Because she had a lightsaber? He's a Star Wars fan. almost so tilting it was such a slow end game but the zone was just like rng as heck like, there's no cover anywhere really it's the worst end game zone yeah and then that guy played that like i don't know why it was so slow but like that guy chose like the best moment he could to pounce and i knew i was getting third partied there but like i didn't know what i wanted to do because, like, I could either do what I did where I killed that Stormtrooper and then made it a 1v1 and killed the other guy. Or I could have focused on that guy third partying. But then we get, like, third partied by the Stormtrooper potentially while I'm fighting him. So I thought I could kill the Stormtrooper before he got to me and then, like, hopefully get, like, a decent pump on him. Which ended up working. But that was risky. I probably should have just let the Stormtrooper exist because he didn't seem to be the most comfortable.